A lot of people think joining a sorority and fraternity is a way to buy friends. It's a way to buy into a lifestyle. All they do is throw parties. They are mean to people. They haze people. They worship the devil. You heard that you might lose yourself. Wait a minute. Who said that? Who said that? That ain't what it is. <laughs> That's not what my experience was. We're going to get into it, okay? You may have seen people denounce for many different reasons. I've seen similar reasons over and over and over. So, let's get into it. Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. If this is your first time here, welcome. Y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost to my goal of a thousand subscribers. It's crazy to say that. It's crazy to say that. So, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel reach more people. I talk about a variety of things on this channel. Everything is helpful to different folks. So, you know, help us out, help them out. Help them find my page, my channel, and let's continue to grow this family, okay? So, now that all that's out the way, let's talk. If you didn't know, I am a member of a sorority of the first and finest. Ding! But with that, I've seen a lot of different <laughs> opinions and views from folks who never thought about joining never wanted to join a sorority or a fraternity folks who did join a sorority and fraternity and then denounced a lot of people think joining a sorority and fraternity is a way to buy friends it's a way to buy into a lifestyle you know what i'm saying it gives you access to different things and to a certain extent it's true to a certain extent, it is very much true. But just because you have access, it depends what you do with it. A lot of people think sororities and fraternities is just a means of having a different way to party. All they do is throw parties. They are mean to people. They haze people. They worship the devil. They The list goes on and on and on. I can't speak for everybody else's experience, but all I can do is put my experience into e the Ethereum, okay? Because I've seen a lot of people denounce for a lot of different reasons. And for them, that organization didn't work out for them. And that might discourage other people from joining. But before you decide whether or not you want to join, before you decide whether or not you want to denounce, listen to me. Just for a second, okay? So like I said, some of that is true. In the aspect that now that I am a member of this organization, I have a commonality between me and a lot of other people, okay? And that commonality, that bond provides a very good foundation for being friends, for networking, for business opportunities such as that. But that doesn't mean you always get along with those who you have a common bond with. It's a lot of family members that a lot of people don't even fool with because that common bond was not enough. So, yeah, you have access, um, but it all depends on how you use it. And it depends if you even like the other people that are in that organization. You see what I'm saying? Now, as for partying, you going to party anyway. Okay, but this, but joining a sorority or fraternity and going to those parties, it's just a different way to party. You was going to do it anyway. So let's not act like that's all it's all about. Okay. I also need to tell you that a lot of people do join organizations because they never had family growing up. They never had that foundation and that's fine. But when it becomes toxic is when you don't even know anything about your organization at all. You really did join four friends, and luckily you like those people, and y'all kicking it. I've been to many events where I'm like, so y'all did all that to join this frat or this sorority, and y'all don't know 
anything. Y'all don't know nothing. You go to the probate. Where is the information? Huh? Where's the mation? That's what I want to hear. Do you know your stuff? Because truly, why did you join? But that's just everything that you should observe. You know what I'm saying? That means their priorities aren't lined up. That doesn't mean that that specific fraternity or sorority is not good. But maybe that chapter, those people that are helping bring up other members might not be for you. For me, luckily, I didn't have that experience at all. (laughs) Everybody who brought me up into my organization was very much so inspirational very much so involved on campus prior to and then after becoming was even more so involved on campus putting more awareness to certain issues bringing more value to their communities and their campuses okay every organization all I can do is speak for the divine nine I think other organizations do this too but It's not just about parties. It's not just about making friends and hanging out. A lot of it is about work. You learn how to run a business, essentially. Once you join a chapter, there are members who are responsible for the funds that come in because you do a lot of fundraising for the distribution of funds. How are we going to impact our community? How are we going to impact our colleges that we're a part of? A lot of it is a lot of work. And to be honest, it is meant to be a lifelong work, okay? So like I said, you learn how to run a business. A lot of the sororities and fraternities have objectives every year, and it depends on the president, what those objectives are, but note that a lot of it is based upon service to others. If you look at a lot of our mission statements, okay, service to all mankind, what we are governed by, our values, you see that the essence, the core of the sorority and the fraternities are to be of service to others, are to add value to the lives of the members, things of that nature. So like I was saying, there are objectives and goals for everybody. So throughout the year, you'll see folks putting on um, different programs, different, it might even be a party, but the essence is to bring in money to help the sorority or fraternity function, to put on quality programs. And the quality programs are meant to educate, meant to serve. That is the essence. So it doesn't sound bad, right? But you get a lot of people on this here internet and a lot of people on the day-to-day who tell you either that the organization you're a part of is inherently bad, inherently evil, you're worshiping, um, you're idolizing, you're doing all these things. People have been denouncing because they believe that the organizations are demonic. They believe it's evil. They believe it's blasphemous. There are false idols that are often worshiped in these organizations. And I'm just like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Not me. (laughs) And any of the people who helped bring me into this organization. So I decided let's put a different perspective out there just to give people a better, more well-rounded view about what joining an organization like that is. And when I say an organization, I mean like a lifelong organization. So if you didn't know, the Divine Nine. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what they all are. If you don't know what they all are, you should look it up if you're interested. But those organizations that you're joining your during your collegiate career are often organizations that are designed to keep you in them lifelong. It's a lifelong commitment to sisterhood, to brotherhood, to serving your community. Okay, all of those things are kind of wrapped up into it. But... When I joined my sorority, I knew that. And the process that it took from becoming 
a what do they call them? A GDI. <laughs> I'm not gonna do too much. Not too much. Not too freaking much. But the process that it took from be, being a GDI to a member of the illustrious sorority it was cool to me. You know what I'm saying? I never felt pressured. I never felt as if I was idolizing something. But I feel as though a lot of the people who do feel that, um, there's like a commonality. A lot of the people who denounce, um, that I've seen denounce, they come really close into relationship with the church. That's always, from my experience, from what I've seen, they always get really close to God via the church. And then the next step is cutting out things that no longer align with their lifestyle, right? And their organization that they once decided to be a part of is a part of that, those pieces that they need to rid of in order to align themselves to where they want. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know why it's like that because during my process, I was encouraged to go to church. You know what I'm saying? We often went to church. A lot of the meetings that we had when I first became a member gives reverence to God and gives thanks. There is a specific portion in every organizational meeting that's called meditation. And meditation takes the form of many things. But oftentimes what I noticed in my chapters was that we were giving thanks to God. We were praying to God and to Jesus. So to me, to say that AKA, not even just AKA, but to say that the organization you decided to join went against that didn't quite make sense to me. Um, but you know, everything is not for me to understand. I accept and I respect a lot of the people's decisions to becoming another GDI. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But to get out and denounce those letters that they once pledged for. And when I say pledged for, please note that I don't mean a hazing process, okay? Please know that I'm talking about the commitment you make, an actual pledge, like you pledge allegiance to the flag and all that. That's the type of pledge that I'm speaking about. Um, You became initiated. You decided that this was a real serious thing for you because let's be honest, becoming a member of any organization, it costs a lot of money. So you're not just investing your time, okay, because in order to become a member, you have to show that you're a valued member of society who wants to continue to do so with a group of like-minded individuals. Um, So you have to be prepared to sacrifice time, to sacrifice money. It costs thousands of dollars and it costs hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands, to continue that membership. So it's a lot to commit to. So for me, it's hard to think about decommitting because of everything I put into it. Being a member of my organization, I don't see it as my identity. And I think that is a big component as to why people decide to denounce. It was once so big for them. It was once something that they decided was a part of them. And any time you get into that identity stuff, that's where things fail. When people make their jobs a part of their identity, their sororities, their fraternities, um, their roles in life a part of who you are, that's when I think things get misaligned. Because who you are is... I'm going to get way too deep. That's not what this video is about. But just know you are not this flesh and I'm not saying that because I'm being religious or I'm trying to throw spirituality at you but we are spiritual beings living a human experience and when you take those human experiences and make it a part of your identity that's just all ego in essence none of that means anything 
You see what I'm saying? But I feel as though a lot of the people who were once die hard for their organization, it was an organization or nothing, they get into the church, they get into very close proximity with God in that way. And then they decide it's demonic, it's evil, it's idolization, it's all these things that I myself have never felt. I've never felt as though being a part of this organization made me better than anybody else. I never thought that being a part of this organization made me worship anything other than the creator. You know what I'm saying? So I try to put myself in those shoes of folks who do decide that they don't want to uphold their commitment anymore. They're they're done with it. And I want to let it be known that that's not what I saw. That's not what I saw at all. Not everybody's process, everybody's initiation is different. But that is something to think about when you are thinking about joining um, a fraternity or sorority are you doing it because you're looking for purpose in your life are you doing it because um, your family might have done it are you doing it because you really like what the organization stands for or are you doing it to fill a big hole a big gap a part of your ego a part of your identity that's something to think about when you want to join an organization because like I said especially if it's a divine nine I can't speak for the other um, organizations especially those that are prevalent in PWIs predominantly white institutes where typically you rush um, and you become a part of this organization and then after college a lot of them do not stay committed to that organization. They don't have weekly meetings or monthly meetings, excuse me, like we do. They don't. It's it's just very different. So take heed um, when you're considering what you want to do. But I just, (laughs) I keep hearing little stuff like, how are you so, not from me, okay? Um, Because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a super big organized religion person I'm not I believe in what I believe in but I don't think that I have to do those things but for those people who do want to or do feel like they have to do those things go to church every week I hear a lot of backlash for my sorors for my other Greek people you know what I'm saying there are people who judge and say, well, how can you be a part of this organization and also be committed to God and committed to Christianity or what what have you, whatever religion that you choose? And sometimes it's hard to respond with love, right? Because you're just like, you're not even a part of the organization. Why are you asking this? Like, where, where are you getting this information from? But I think movies and shows show you like, oh, you must do these things in order to be accepted by the members of the organization. And I'm just I just wanted to come and let you know that that's not everybody's experience. Everybody doesn't do that. I'm not sure what other things people are praying to, but the way I was brought up into the organization, God is very much central very much central to a lot of the members to the organization like I said there's always prayer there's always some type of meditation there's always some form of spirituality and at no point in time was I ever pressured or even told suggested to worship something that I didn't want to, something that I didn't believe in. It's just, I don't know. It's crazy to me to think that. Let me know down below if you are or aren't what your beliefs were about the different organizations, what you think, um, if this helped change your perspective, your mentality, just because... 
I don't want, I want people to get the full story. So as a member of an organization, I can tell you 100%, I don't want to denounce. I want to continue to be active. I never feel pressured into being manipulated. But to say that the organization is evil or to think, it just rubs me the wrong way because if you follow me on any of my social medias, I'm always talking about, not always, but I do bring light to the fact that my sorority does good things. We raise money for youth in our local and surrounding communities in order to provide scholarships for folks to go to college or to seek that higher education that they might want, maybe can't afford, or maybe it'll just help lower the burden, what have you. There are a lot of philanthropic endeavors that the organizations are involved in. And a lot of it is based around our community, making a positive impact on our community. Every Thanksgiving, we used to provide Thanksgiving meals. This is in college, Thanksgiving meals to women's shelters in our surrounding areas. Every undergrad member, everybody who's still in college, who is a member of an organization, it's always priority to service those who are around you to service your community who gives so much to you you got to give back it is a part of the every organization has sets of essentially objectives that they want to complete throughout the year there's always a piece about the environment there's always a piece about what can you do for other people And in order to be considered, in order to keep running as a chapter, you need to make substantial efforts to complete those objectives. You see what I'm saying? So it just kind of, it really hurts when people say things that put and paint organizations in bad lighting. Well, y'all, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want more Greek content, let me know. If there's anything that I need to expand upon, let me know. We can have a conversation. Like I've been saying, comment. Let's put all the different perspectives out there because I think that's what helps make a good decision. No decision is bad or wrong. Things are just different. And I think it's good to provide people with knowledge so they can choose what's best for them. Or they could just gain a different perspective that they didn't know existed before. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.